Hello everybody and welcome to the tavern. Uh, my deck has not changed since last time. Still the same deck. We're still gonna go through it. I did not fully go into all of it, but it's, it's a charmer deck. You know the spells and trap cards. I'm still looking for like other tech cards. It is what it is. Uh, question of the day. Do you like the state Yu-Gi-Oh is in right now? That is going to be the question. Personally, this is actually a very good hand. Like, I actually don't want to use Spirit Charmers. Um, what was your deck? I'm sorry, but what was your deck that you couldn't play? You drew a bad opening hand. So right now, I can say for like Master Duel, I don't like the state it's in. I don't like the state Yu-Gi-Oh is in in general, and that's because everything is just... I feel like everything is too fast paced, and a good going first deck is going to end up on like a board of negates. Right there, floodgates. Monster floodgates, a negate, a negate. If you don't know how to play around this, it doesn't let you play. And I think what it is, is I want cards like this. I want them to be in the, within their own archetype and nothing more. Like right now, in the TCG, Predator Plant is, is just like banned. Can't play it no more. Which means, which means decks like this can't play Fusion Destiny unless they hard draw it to go into this. And, uh, and just to like hard draw two copies is already going to be, uh, much very painful and this is a very true kings this is a very finicky deck but yeah i don't like i like i like having back and forth but i don't like the fact that if I can't side in hand traps, if I can't side in, like, I have to be able to side in hand traps. I don't know the good ratio of hand traps, but that still really limits certain decks that, that has to play more than, like, 40 cards. Because now they can't actually do much of what they want to do. Like, right now, I have an Ash Blossom. What do I, what do I Ash Blossom? I don't know. All right, so they're going into the trap trick. Exactly my point. So what what this is going to do is they're going to turbo out stuff. I'm actually going to tell them no. That's the good ad target because now they can't do anything. They have to play on my turn because now they can't get their target because they can't activate their other effect to get their other trap. So now, that's a terrible fucking card. Okay. So I can special summon the Ecclesia. Okay, so let's use the Spirit Charmers, get rid of Spirit Charmers. You, you're probably holding on to the Ash. Which, you know what? Fine by me, I have what I need. And with that, I, I can throw that over there because I don't care. So now use your other trap cards. Change faith on defense. You're going to use that to get, I think, uh, what's the other? Because I still get the draw. You're going to get this off. You're probably going to get the uh, one that destroys back row. Yes. Then you're going to do this to special to... So yeah, to get a, a hole directly from... Which is a bottom list, which won't be alive. I mean, this is the only live card I have to worry about. Okay. 
Get the knight. Which means... Literally, it's like, beat over this. Now, I have to be wary about the uh, bottomless there. Other than that, I'm not too, too worried. Utopia double, okay. Double or nothing, okay. Utopia, of course. Then it's going to attack to activate the double or nothing. Essentially, I lose. Because you go into the stupid um Utopia to negate your own effect. Which then goes into double or nothing to give it another attack for 10,000. I'm going to take 85, which is pretty much game for me. So, I'm just going to end it there. I hate the fact that, again, so, this is why I asked, like, the, this is why the, the question exists. The state of Yu-Gi-Oh! If you're going to go into a non arc so, like, the Utopias, archetype-specific, that they're archetypes, make them need their own archetype monsters. I, I At this point, hard, just hard archetypes. I don't want, I, I don't care about... I don't care if the archetype has an engine that can fit into many archetypes. Fit it within one archetype and make it only one archetype can use these specific cards. Because then this card is like Actors Code Parker, Birdie Anaconda. And and just errata. Get rid of cards that's that these powerful cards that can just do everything and just throw it to its own archetype. Make the archetype strong and not a pile deck which works around the archetypes. Because it's going to get to a point where you're. Th th here's what's going to happen. Unless the archetype is in of itself strong, nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to happen. Okay. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be. I'm sorry. Didn't they uh They're not they they weren't negated? Okay. Okay. So draw one, and then what do you do? Special summon? Oh, uh, yeah. Plant from uh, deck to hand. I have no way of... Uh... And that's another thing. Being able to draw into your hand trap to be able to play the game. Because this is going to end up in a board state where I can't do anything. I have First off, I have to do a lot, a lot of damage. Now this contributes say this or this. This is gonna go into I think uh I don't know yet. Aroma Serapi. Probably that uh, an aroma serapi monster. I'm literally wait waiting for him.
Okay. Okay. But it cannot activate its effects this turn, so which means you are negated. That should mean you're negated, right? Okay. Aurora Dawn? Aurora Dawn. Get three, you're gonna, I think, possibly use two, right? It's, it's two for O-Lion. It's either two for O-Lion or, uh, yeah. Two for O-Lion. You have uh, two, two, and a two. And then get Death Spot because that's another, that's going to be the play. And the whole play-by-play, -play, he's probably going to end up on like maybe one or two negates, which I can't, I won't be able to play through. Or something along those lines. So this immediately goes into either a 6 or an 8. Possibly both. Or a 9. There's also a 9. And maybe an 11. Yes. So 6, 9, 11. My bad, 6, 8, 11. 6, 8, 9, 11. Mind you, I think I should have brought... I would have... Because even though I said the, the effects are not are negated, effectively, the, that is saying your effect is negated and you can't activate it this turn. That's effectively what they're saying. That's going to come out as maybe an 8. Let me see. Maybe a 4. Yep, a 4, and there goes the Bear of the Floor. Mind you, if you can end up on a board of like 2 or 3 negates... Maybe I could have played through it if I had better cards. But that's not that's that's not this. That is not this. Oh, not a bear in the floor? Okay. Nope, they go to Baron. Wait, no? Okay, so question is, what can I do with this hand? Mind you, I waited all of like maybe seven, eight minutes. Yeah, I waited like seven, eight minutes and uh, I can't do shit. Because the thing is, I, I don't have plays. I couldn't interact with this board. Mind you, this is probably a tamer board, but at the same time, if you can just go into all of these plays, which is why Aurora Don got hit on the, on the ban list, to be honest. Because, again, it facilitated all of that. 
And Aurora Dawn can also facilitate, facilitate into something more. Mind you, I'm only playing Master. So, like, the actual TCG. There are other cards going rampant. I don't know. I just don't like how everything is decided within, like, one or two turns. Like, no game should ever be that fast. Are you kidding me? Like, that's my entire thing. No, none of these games should ever be dictated within, like, the first two turns. It should be a much, a much longer back and forth. Maybe five turns at least. Just so, like, there's that counterplay. But it's like... Specifically for me, I want there to be counterplay. I want there to be things that can be done. What can this do? I should have probably asked that, but... Uh, what was it? Oh, Rainbow Dragon. Okay. Yeah, just go face down. No one wants you. The fact that I wasn't punished. Okay. Is there anything I can do? See, that's the question. Is there anything I can do? I can't do anything with that secret village. My only stopping point was to actually flip this base down. I don't think there's anything I can do. Like, you know what? That's on me. I should have asked that. Like, this should have been, should have been asked. That is purely on me. Okay, so I'm gonna go down a blizzard because that's not coming up quite as often, but it still helps. Raigeki. Decisions, decisions. Not that helpful. I haven't really been drawing into it. Dimensional barrier comes in clutch. There aren't many Ash targets, which is the problem. All right, I'm gonna stick with this. If anything, I might have to side out the um Regeki because the Regeki seems like it's not doing nearly as much. Good going second card. But if everything is just going to, you know, destroy themselves or other things. Like, right now, everybody is playing, um... Destiny Hero, the Destroy the Story of Phoenix Enforcer. That's what everybody's playing right now. Why is this hand so trash? Like, please have one of your own effects negated. I can ask something but i need one of your effects to be negated because if i can just get the iris sword soul out what is this amazonist okay okay i'm gonna just do that Nope, that's a called by the grave. 
No? No called by the grave. Okay. Weird, but whatever. Again, I just need you to have like no effects on the field. Or that. I'm perfectly okay with that. Okay. Play some mind games here. Yes, I, I set a spell card. Is it gonna matter? No. Go for a little bluff. I just need you to... Alright, yeah, that's why I'm gonna need like Forbidden Droplet, maybe Forbidden Chalice. What do you do here? Amazon monsters do control cannot be destroyed by battle. <coughs> so I'm getting shit luck with my hands. I'm just going to pass it back because again, like brick, 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 brick. How many bricks do I have to play in my fucking deck? This is going to be very annoying. Uh, let me see. Uh, do I lose? Let me see. 42. I don't lose. But I don't win either. Uh, I might just do one more duel. You win. That card sealed my fate. I I'll be honest, like, what can I do with this deck? The right Geki. Could be fun, but I'm not drawing it nearly as much. So, Book of Knowledge. It's actually useless. I'd rather something else. I could probably start out a possessed partnership, but that's the one thing that's recurring a lot of my cards. Alright, let's see what we can do here. This will be the last game. Honestly, I honestly hate the state of Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Like, I know why we're in here in the first place. Because, like, the state of the game just, like, sped up so much. But it's... If I don't have any interactions... Essentially, I, I have to go first for interactions. That's essentially what it becomes. So, let's see. I can't do anything else, so it's... it's Like, this is my only other play here. I got rid of the Harpies, which actually was a good hit. So, getting rid of the Harpies was, like, the best hit I can get. Because that means my back row is actually safe. Now, he can still have a Lightning Storm. 
They can still have a lightning storm. Question is, are you able to draw into what you need? Um, I can't do anything. But if you put in a Dark Magician, I have a Called by the Grave. Does that still trigger that? Essentially, I'm going to do that. You go face down because no one cares. And then, yeah, you have a Dark Magician in there. So I have the Called by the Grave, which will actually hit up that Dark Magician. Okay. Let's just give it one of those. I actually should have just done it with the, uh... Are you losing connection now? Yeah, I think you're losing connection. Get in annoyed now. You banish, right? Yeah, you banish. Okay. Which means I'm not getting the effects of, uh... Which means I'm taking a 25 to the face. That or I'm just going to quit because it's a stupid. Like, I don't know what's going on with your connection here, buddy. Okay, so what's going to help me out here? That's the question. What is going to help me out? That would definitely help me out. Now, do I normal summon? Um, do I normal summon or do I go through? So if I normal summon the Ecclesia.
Okay, so you can't... Okay. Okay, so I needed to flip this. Mm. Okay. No, I lose because if I can't, so it's flip summon. It's not counted as a monster special summon from the extra deck no more, which is going to be a problem. Which is kind of stupid because it's still a monster that came from the extra deck. Ah, <sighs> okay. So, what are cards that I can specifically get rid of from this deck? Like, what exactly are my absolute dead cards? That's the question I need to ask. What are my absolute dead cards? It pleads here to Flutterby's helps. With Crafter, Gollum Arudu helps. The Iris Sorcerer can actually come out, but I want to try the card. Essentially, I have four hand traps that are not doing me any justice. And the thing is, I cannot take out... I actually can't take out any of the other cards because they're part of the deck. <sighs> okay. I don't know what to take out. You know what? Comment down below. What would have actually help this deck out? Besides the uh, Forbidden Droplets, which I am actually just might start crafting. Maybe at least one. I don't know. But I, I feel like everything is just... It it's gone out of hand. The entire thing of Yu-Gi-Oh! is just... How fast can you get to your big boss monsters in one turn? When... I, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. With that said, the tavern is now closed. I shall see you all later.